Delve into the dangerous segment, the one that we call very volatile each and every week. It's time for Hump Day Humor. I love this. And, of course, uh, today being uh, the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Yeah. Uh, how about a worker joke? I worker love it. Joke. Let's start with some St. Uh, Joseph the Worker jokes. Let's see here. A council worker uh, digging holes while another worker immediately fills them in. So okay. a man's watching uh, these two workers uh, busy at the local park. One digs a hole. Moves a couple of meters and then digs another hole. This is in England, by the way. Okay. Uh, and so on. So the other worker follows the first, immediately filling in all the holes. <laughs> okay. So the man watching is kind of upset. He approaches him saying, I'm coming to write to the council about this digging holes and filling them in right away. It's a disgrace. Hang on, says one of the workers. It's not our fault that Charlie's off sick. Who is Charlie, asked the man. Well, he's the guy who plants the tree. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that's fabulous. And a construction worker. He's on the first day tasked with picking up supplies from the lumber yard. So he walks in the office. We need some four by twos. <laughs> four by well, the two. clerk says, she, you mean two by fours, right? <laughs> <laughs> worker says, well, let me go check. So he goes back to the truck and soon returns and says, yes, two by fours. All right, how long do you need them? Asked the clerk. The man pauses for a while and says, well, let me go check. So he returns to the office and says, a long time. We're building a house. <laughs> How long do we need? It's gonna, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic! I was reading through a medical book about various medical procedures, organs, and treatments, and I noticed quite a few items were missing. For example, there was no appendix. <laughs> <laughs> And then I got to give this one to Jason. Jason shared this one with me on uh, on Facebook. A Baptist pastor went to the dentist for a set of false teeth. The first Sunday after he got his new teeth, he preached for only eight minutes. The second Sunday, he preached for just 10 minutes. The following Sunday, he preached for two hours and 48 minutes. The congregation had to mob him to get him to stop and m remove him from the pulpit. And they asked him what happened. The pastor explained the first Sunday, his gums hurt so bad he, couldn't, he could only speak for about eight minutes. The second Sunday, his gums were feeling better but still hurting. He could only talk for 10 minutes. The third Sunday, he put his wife's teeth in by mistake and he couldn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, Whoa. Jason, send your complaints to Jason. That was Jason, yeah. That's pretty funny. I just read a book about <laughs> helium. It was so good, I still can't put it down. Oh, oh wow, I just ruined the momentum there. All right. <laughs> How about mm. this one? I remember when I was sent to jail, I got slammed face down onto a table, had my arm twisted up behind my back, kidney punched, and then I was slapped in the head. That's the last time I play Monopoly with my sons. They are way, 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 way too competitive. <laughs> I like that. You know, inside me, there's a that thin, was a true story. Man. There's a thin person struggling to get out. Yeah, uh, but I usually sedate him with four or five cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Robber uh, points a pistol at a well-dressed man. He says, give me all your money. The well-dressed man says, well, you don't want to hurt me. I'm a politician. And the robber replies, well, in, in that case, I stand corrected. Give me my money. <laughs> That's good. I'm writing a book. I've got the page numbers done. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of wits. Yeah, yeah. I'm addicted to placebos. Now, this one. Hold on a minute. I like that one. Hold, hold the phone. This one you want to remember. Take a second. I'm addicted to placebos. <laughs> I could quit, but it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> I love that. I'm addicted to placebos. There you go. Uh, let's see. My wife called to tell me she saw a fox on the way to work this morning. I asked her how she knew the fox was on its way to work. <laughs> She's up on me. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, I never wanted to believe my, uh, my, uh, my son was stealing uh, from his job as a road worker. But when I got home... All the signs were there. <laughs> there and then Tim, uh, Tim, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Uh, this is good for uh, St. Joseph the Worker Day. An employee calls in and says, I'm not coming to work today. And his supervisor says, and why not? Because I'm in a great mood and don't want to spoil it. Ah. <laughs> I also got uh, one other one. Every time I take my dog to the park, the ducks bite him. And then the other guy says, well, why did the ducks bite him? He's purebred. Oh, he's purebred. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. That's very cute. I spilled spot remover on my dog. Now he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my closer if you're ready for it. This one you want to take with you. It's funny. How do I know it's funny? Because I told it. No, oh, not that long ago. Yeah. But if here's the thing. If you heard it, uh, stick with it. Tell it to others. If you haven't heard it, you're welcome. Here it is. Uh, wait, my wait, wife, wait, wait. Are we ready? Yeah. 
Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's see. Uh, well, here, let me let me give you a drum roll. How about that? Yeah, this one is good. I promise you. I've tried it out many, many times. My wife asked me if I thought our kids were spoiled. My wife asked me if I thought our kids were spoiled. I said, nah. I think most kids smell like that. <laughs> <laughs> my wife asked me if I thought our kids were spoiled. I said, nah, I think most kids smell like that. That's a taker. <laughs> That's Take a good that one, one with I you. Do like tell that it one. to your uh, friends. Tell it to your family. Tell it to your enemies. Get them to laugh a little bit, and then you can enter into a good conversation about other things. My wife asked me if I thought our kids were spoiled. I said, nah, I think most kids smell <laughs> like that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's over. Hi, this is Patty Murray from the Virtuous Life.